When Conker's Bad Fur Day was released back in 2001, it turned the video game world and censors on its ear. This place really smells. Ah, uh, well, she wear like dung beetles and you're older, poor out. knows what's for. In fact, it's still the most boundary pushing game this side of Grand Theft Auto. Ooh, it's like the screaming shit. I'm out of here. <laughs> It has tons of slick pop culture references. <laughs> and musical numbers. Now I'm really getting rather mad. You're like a niggly, tickly, little tag nut. When I've knocked you out with all my bab, I'm going to take your head and ram it off my butt. Your butt. My butt. Your butt. That's right, my butt. Ugh. My butt. Ugh. My butt. It also has one twisted ending. To bring you up to speed, the Panther King, the main baddie in the game, has been asking for milk throughout the entire game. More milk, Asaya? But you never knew just why. Step aside, Conker. I know how to deal with men like this. Such. Loyalty misplaced. Get rid of her. Easiest thing in the world. Sorry, dollface. Business is business. Adios. What the? Conquer's girlfriend killed off? Brilliant! <sighs> no problem, boss. Boss, you feeling all right? Bit of indigestion. Where's my milk, Professor? The breathe Oh, look at as my dad is. I think the latest addition to my plans is about teacher. Oh, the incorporation and teacher is just about complete. Not a moment too soon. Yes, yes, my liege. Let us kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Yes, it's an unpredictable ending, but it gets better. Testing department's day off or something? Stay tuned for the remake of this game, Conquer Live and Uncut for the Xbox, due later this year. Okay, soldier, move it out. For the last two years, we've been talking about the re release of one of our favorite N64 games of all time Conquer. Now, after a revamp, a couple renamings, and a whole lot of graphical cleanup, Conquer is hitting the Xbox. And the Xbox will never be the same. Here's our review. Better hide your nuts, Conker. The weather looks bad. It's Conker live and reloaded. And it's British. And it's badass. And it's what's going on? That flagrantly foul mouth fragmentic furball is back and more well-armed than ever. 
Conqueror was a big hit on the N64, and the developers were careful not to spend much of the original highly entertaining currency. Have you ever sat on a piece of gothic architecture for 200 years? Gets right up your ass, you know. The script and voice acting alone will cause any belly filled with ale embalmed bubble and squeak to shriek with glee. <laughs> Conker's live and reloaded reality is ripe with reams of chatty, tough and stuffy in characters, all out to make Conker's trip through puzzle land hard for him and fun for you. Somebody's got the exact thing me, man. I'm a rock. I don't kick ass. Did we mention that Conker has received a sparkling new coat of graphical paint? Mmm, mystical fairy dust lighting. His tail alone will cause distraction as it twists and turns like a lynched clown. Solving is refreshingly positioned far out in left field, and the platforming. Now this is what I call a platform game. Enough said. As Conker plows up the old chutney tunnel of the game, you'll realize that the abundant brown substance that seems to be everywhere ain't Willy Wonka's chocolate river. Oh poo! Can somebody please jiggle the handle on this scene? <laughs> The real draw for Live and Reloaded is the multiplayer. You can either play as the evil stuffed teddy bears known as the Teddies, or as the SHC, the Squirrel High Command. There's an abundance of different characters to play, each festooned with unique weapon systems. Each of the war-torn regions you'll play in carries a movie reference. The D-Day doom of Saving Private Ryan is particularly involving as you slice, missile, and strafe your way past a series of satisfying level objectives. Don't let the cuddly creatures fool you. The combat is savage, unrelenting, and brutal. Particular weapon systems were viscerally satisfying and visually captivating. At times, however, the action in close combat situations became extremely cluttered, in some cases to the point where you couldn't tell whether or not the button combos you were hitting were actually working as intended. And sadly, you will be visited by that jumping joy killer known as the wonky in-game camera problem. But you do get to fly and demolish and decapitate teddy bears. And that ain't a bad day for a nut-loving squirrel now, is it? Fuck you. With a blood-choked holler from the throat of war, we give Conker a four out of five. I've seen some kicking ass in my time, and that is the shittest, crappiest, crappiest, shittest kick ass I've ever seen. Okay. Okay. Just so you know, just so you know, if you're gonna get this game, get this game for the multiplayer, because I have real problems with a single player on this game. Yeah, no, you were you were you were yelling about it yes. the whole time. They go through all the trouble of fixing the graphics, which look awesome. But they don't fix any of the problems that were in the original Conquer, like the camera. And now that like we've moved on from 1999, I expect more things from my games, and I, I can't play a game that 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 wonky anymore. It drives me crazy. Do you think Reloaded is the new Unleashed? Everything's Reloaded these days. Reloaded, yeah, Matrix Reloaded. You Kirby know. Reloaded, whatever that movie yeah. Called, yeah. And why would you want to reload something as boring as the Love Bug? I'm just bummed that the uh, you know that there aren't swear words in the game anymore. Yeah, I mean I, I know they, they were supposed right, to put not, swear words. It's supposed to be live and uncut. uncut. It's not it's uncut. To have swear words, and then they cut them out. It's still funny, but you—you you better be working on perfect dark. That's all okay. I'm saying, rare.